Welcome back. It's time to meet another South Florida survivor. Juliana Guevara is a new mom of a happy and healthy baby girl, but her road to motherhood wasn't easy. She survived a battle with infertility only to be thrown yet another curveball. That's it. There you go. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. No more cake. cake, balloons, and a room filled with friends and family. It's not a birthday party, but it is a celebration of life. Today is my last treatment. It's been 322 days since I was diagnosed. Juliana Guevara went in for her final round of chemotherapy at Memorial Hospital West in Pembroke Pines last month. The end of a journey that started with what she thought was just the flu almost a year ago. The uh, doctor came in and said, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but you have leukemia. And that just floored us all because we were not expecting that at all. I didn't even know that was possible to have cancer and be pregnant. <laughs> yes, Juliana was 23 weeks pregnant at the time of her diagnosis. We started treatment right away because they assured me that if I didn't start treatment, then I could lose my life, which in turn would, you know, lose my daughter's life because she was my main goal. You know, I want a healthy baby. And that baby is healthy. Aliana was there as her mom underwent her final round of chemo. She came at just the right time to save my life because had I gotten pregnant four years prior when we started, I could have gone undiagnosed. It took Juliana and her husband Alan several years to get pregnant with their daughter, and they documented their struggle on a blog, sharing their personal and private pain with the world in hopes of helping others find hope and faith. Infertility affects one in eight couples. That's a whole lot of people, but it's not talked about. We could help others and give others hope, and even though we didn't have kids yet, you know, we just, we knew that we had the faith and we knew how to get that peace, you know, and how to find that comfort going through those hard times. She also posted about her cancer fight and admits losing her hair was hard to handle. As vain as it may seem, you know, it's just, that was one thing I was like really trying to hold on to. And um, also because of being pregnant, I wanted maternity pictures and, you know, the beautiful long hair and everything. And so, um, you know, I, that was something that I had to grieve. Short hair or long, her beauty shines from within. Even her doctor can see it. From the first moment that I met her, and I think that all the nurses on the floor, all the staff on the floor felt the same way. There's just something about her that was just so special. I think what makes me a survivor is, you know, perseverance. You know, I don't feel like a superhero or anything like that, but just having, I think more, I think better, maybe a better word for myself, maybe be like an overcomer. You know, because I feel like, okay, we've overcome all of this, but it's been together. You know, so it's not like just me as a survivor. It's like a community that we have overcome these things together. She is an overcomer indeed. Juliana has participated in the Light the Night Walk, benefiting the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and plans to do it again. She says she's ready to experience motherhood without the frequent hospital visits and continue her work as a licensed mental health counselor where she can continue, of course, to help others. Wow, you know, it looks like that baby came just in time mm -hmm. and it gave her that says. purpose to overcome, like she said, and survive. Yeah, right? and full disclosure, I've known uh, Juliana, Julie, as we called her, since I was in high school, an incredible person. The woman you see there is the woman she's always been. Yeah. She's such Special a sweet person. woman, and I'm so happy for her and her family. So, Julie, thank you for letting us share your story. Yeah.